Okay, today we'll start uh, two-dimensional geometry, uh, the, uh, the pair of straight line. Okay, a pair of straight lines. First of all, we'll discuss some uh, basic concepts of a pair of straight line. Uh, a pair of straight line. The, a pair of straight line so eta ki sa amader note dicen je okhane asche yes 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 a pair of a pair of straight line a pair of straight line this is actually two dimensional geometry and the standard form of uh, second degree equation, homogeneous quadratic equation. First of all, write down everybody, homogeneous, homogeneous quadratic, quadratic equation, homogeneous quadratic equation, um, standard form x square, plus 2axy plus by square equals to 0. Actually, this is the homogeneous quadratic equation. And uh, this, uh, this uh, we, uh, it has two roots because highest power of x is what? 2. And the roots are the roots can be written as like this. M1 plus M2. Suppose M1 and M2 are the two roots. M1, 2A is by B. And M1 into M2 equals to A by B. This is the standard form of so homogeneous quadratic equation x square plus 2 x x y plus b y square equals to 0. This is the standard form of homogeneous quadratic equation. And some of the roots will be this and product of the roots. Because from equation 1, we can write y by x whole square plus 2 a by b into y by x plus a by b by dividing by x square b on both sides. So if we divide uh, this equation by x square b on both sides, we get this form. So this is the quadratic form x square plus bx plus c equals to zero types. Okay. So y x is y by x is the variable. Comparing with this, the sum of the roots, if uh, let us consider m1 and m2 be the roots of the equation 2, this the sum of the roots, what will be? Comparing with this, minus b by a, m is what? 1. Comparing with this minus 2 is by b divided by 1. That means minus 2 is by b. And product of the roots c by a, this whole c comparing with this quadratic equation. So c by a. c by a means what? Actually, a by b. So angle between the lines represented by the quadratic homo homogeneous quadratic equation, x square plus 2 is x y plus b o square. The axes are assumed to be rectangular. Let the lines represented by the given equation y minus m1x and other line is y minus m2x. Both equations passes through the origin. Remember it. So the given equation that we, we are taking product of this uh, given equations are the same as uh, because the pro, uh, sum of the roots what minus 2 is by b and product of the roots what will be a by b for the homogeneous quadratic equation. And if theta be the angle between the lines y minus m1x and y minus m2x, uh, suppose first line uh, pro, uh, slope is m1 and second slope what m2. So the angle between them will be given by tan theta, right? Tan theta. So tan theta equals to what? m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus m1 into m2. But m minus b can be written as square root over a plus b whole square minus 4 ab, okay? by using corolla, corollary. So 1 plus m1 into m2 
M1 plus M1 into M2. Just putting these values, M1 plus M2 what? Minus 2 SS by B and M1 into M2 what? A by B, just putting here. Putting, we get already 10 theta equals to what? 2 into square root of R, A square minus A B divided by A plus B. Remember it, angle will be given by this formula. Where theta is the angle between the lines represented by the homogeneous quadratic equation, X square plus 2SXY plus BY square, remember it. Now condition of perpendicularity. Per perpendicular what will be? Perpendicular means what? 90 degree, angle between 90 degree. That means theta equals to what? 90 degree. If theta equals to 90 degree here, if the straight lines are perpendicular to each other, then angle will be what? 90 degree. So tan theta equal to what? 90 degree. At 90 degree, tan theta what? Infinity. Okay. And from, from, uh, from this one, a plus b equals to what? Zero. Zero. Because infinity means what? One by zero. By cross multiplication, a plus b equal to zero. Now, if the, uh, if the sum of the coefficients of x square and y square is zero, the straight line will be perpendicular to all each other. Now, uh, conditions of parallelism or coincidence. Uh, for this homogeneous quadratic equation, if theta equals to zero, then it will be parallel to each other. Okay. Then 10 theta equals to what will be? Zero. By cross multiplication, a square equals to what? A b. Okay. So, uh, using this equation, we can say that which, which one is parallel and which one is uh, perpendicular to each other. Actually, this is the condition. Now we'll try to prove the bisectors of the angles between the lines represented by this. Okay. Now find the bisectors find the bisectors find the bisectors of the angle the angle between the lines between the lines uh, represented by the homogeneous quadratic equation lines represented by represented by homogeneous quadratic equation x square plus 2a xy plus b y square equals to 0 now we'll try to find out the, the bisectors of the angles. Remember it. Now let the given equation, let the given equation x, x square 2 a is x y plus b y square equals to zero. This name what? homogeneous quadratic equation represents represents two straight line y y equals to m1x and other is m2x this is equation number 1 and this is another equation number 2 We know some of the homogeneous, some of the roots of it represents two roots. Uh, if the roots, if the roots are M1 and M2, then some of the roots what will be? M1 minus 2 is by B represented by the given quadratic homogeneous quadratic equation minus 2 ss by b and product of the roots what will be a by b okay so the equation of the equation of the 
required by sector by sectors what will be this first line y minus m1x divided by square root over what will be coefficient of x, x square coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square this equals to plus minus second line y minus m2x this divided by what will be square root over coefficient of x square 1 and coefficient of y square of the second line what m2 square and this is the required equation of bisectors now squaring on both sides and by cross multiplication this line can be written as y minus y minus m1 x whole square 1 plus m2 whole square equals to y minus m2 x 1 plus m1 square. Now, how we get this line squaring on both sides? On squaring on both sides. So, squaring on both sides, we get this one. So, from this line, we can write here y square minus 2m1 xy plus m1 square x square 1 plus m m2 square this equals to can be written as this also m minus b whole square formula that means y square minus twice m2 xy m2 whole square x square 1 plus m2 1 plus m1 1 plus m1 whole square okay from this line after this line we can write this will be not a square from this line just alternating we can write m1 square minus m2 square so I'm gonna 1 plus m2 square over 1 plus m2 square right m2 square x square minus y square equals to this two uh, this twice xy and this twice xy will be common then we can write m1 minus m2 m1 into m2 m1 minus m2 or this is a plus b into a minus b m m1 m1 plus m2 m1 minus m2 x square minus y square this can be taken common m1 minus m2 twice xy twice xy 1 minus m1 into m2 this will be after taking common on both from this side m1 minus m2 we can write this one so m1 minus m2 and m1 minus m2 and this m1 minus m2 will be cancelled from both sides by dividing by this since it is not zero m1 minus m2 is non zero this is why after dividing we get this one now m1 plus 
m2 and x square minus y square twice xy one minus m1 m2 or you must know m1 plus m2 what was minus two is a is by b okay this equals to what 1 minus m1 into m, m2 means a by b from sum of the roots we get this we can put this one from product of the roots of the given homogeneous quadratic equation m1 into m2 what was it what was a by b by 1 and 2 okay so from this line we can write a is into 2 2 will be cancelled dividing by 2 on both sides and x y into a minus b multiplying b by b on both sides okay multiplying by b on both sides so from this we can write therefore x square minus y square divided by a minus b equals to x y divided by a actually this is the required condition for which the bisectors of the angle between the lines represented by the homogeneous quadratic equation this is the required condition okay for which the bisectors of the angle now the general equation of second degree the general equation of second degree The standard form of general equation of second degree is x square plus 2a xy plus by square plus 2zx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. There is a condition if it represents a pair of straight line. This is equation number 1. Equation one, equation one represents a pair of straight line, pair of straight line a pair of straight line if if uh, if the determinant of the coefficient matrix a a is z this will be f and this will be f this determinant or this can be written as this equals to zero or this can be written as a b c plus 2 f z a is plus sorry minus minus f square minus b z square minus c a c square equals to zero that means that this general equation of second degree will represent a pair of straight line if this determinant that means m is what coefficient of x square and a is the coefficient of twice x y and b is the what coefficient of y square and z means what coefficient of twice x and f is the coefficient of twice y that means this constant uh, this determinant will be zero or this determinant can be represented as also like this abc plus 2 fz is minus f square minus bz square minus c square equals to zero so i am not proving now this And we can we can find the intersection point of that pair of straight line. The intersection, the intersection point 
the intersection point point is alpha equals uh, fcc will be a is f minus b z divided by a b minus a is square and ordinate will be beta equals to z a is minus f divided by a b minus a so square we have to remember this and this is the actually intersection point uh, the intersection point alpha comma beta remember it where alpha equals to this and beta equals to this we have to use this uh, formula for that and we have to remember that this determinant will be zero if the this equation will represent a pair of straight line okay now so like how so you can see from here and this is the standard equation of x square plus 2 x plus b square plus 2 zx and if we transfer the origin to the point alpha beta then then x becomes x plus alpha and y becomes y plus beta shifting origin process from our previous lecture then the this equation can be transferred to this now from the uh, from the coefficient of x we get this one from the coefficient of y this and uh, this is the constant term after shifting okay so this equation 3 4 and 5 from the relation 5 we can write this one also since alpha a alpha a is beta plus z equals to zero and a is alpha plus b beta plus f also zero. So using this one, we, we get z alpha f beta plus c. That means this become seven. Okay. Now for eliminating, uh, if we eliminate alpha beta from three, four, seven, then we get this determinant. Okay. So this is why uh, if this, if the second general equation of second degree represents a pair of a straight line, then that this determinant will be zero. Remember it. Now, angle between the lines given by these lines, and uh, we must know from our previous theorem two into root over a square minus a b divided by a plus b. If this equa equation represent a pair of steel, and then with lx plus m y plus n, another in l dash plus l dash x plus m dash y plus n dash, then after multiplication and comparing from uh, the coefficient on both sides, we get this one actually. So tan theta equals to what? Two into a square root over a square minus ib divided by a plus b. Now condition of perpendicularity, if theta equals to 90 degree, then this will be perpendicular. Okay. So in, the, in that case, determinant will be zero and a plus b also equals to zero. A is the coefficient of x square and b is the coefficient of y square. Sum of the coefficient of x square and y square will be zero if the perpendicular, remember it. Now, if del equals to zero and a square equals to a b, in that case, the both the straight line will be parallel to each other and coincides uh, if we, if this is conditions will be satisfied and the angles between them angles between them prove that Prove that the equation 6x square minus 5xy minus 6y square plus 14x plus 5y plus 4 equals to 0 represents two straight lines. Find also their point of intersections and the angles between them. Okay. We are given the given equation is the given equation is. 6x square minus 5xy minus 6y square plus 14x plus 5y plus 4 equals to 0. Now comparing with the coefficient of now comparing now 
comparing with the standard form with the standard form x square plus 2xxy plus by square okay plus 2zx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 and this is given equation 1 so comparing with this a equals to what 6 and b equals to what b equals to also 6 6 then a is equals to what minus 5 by 2 okay z equals to what 7 z equals to 7 f equals to what 5 by 2 just comparing okay and c equals to what 4 right so now we will find the value of del del equals to what was abc abc plus 2f z a minus f square minus b z square minus c a square equals to equals to what will be just putting the all values 6 multiply 6 multiply 4 plus 2 f f below what 5 by 2 a is below what minus 5 by 2 then minus f square m means what 6 f square f below 5 by 2 whole square minus b z square b b means 6 z means what 7 c a is square 4 multiply a means what minus 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 whole square after simplifying we get the value what after simplifying we get what will be below so here b equals to minus 6 the, yes 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 there is a wrong b equals to minus 6 remember it b equals to minus 6 so um, b equals to minus 6 okay so we get from here minus 144 minus 144 then minus half into 175 minus 75 by 2 plus 294 minus 25 44 will be cut so 5 minus 5 square means 25 that means after calculation we get zero here uh, so del if del equals to zero you must know now the point of intersection since del equals to zero the given equation represents a pair of straight line the given equation given equation represent a pair of straight line okay a pair of a straight line point of intersection alpha beta alpha equals to what was a f minus b z right is it alpha hello yes, 
and beta equals to what? Beta equals to beta equals to what? Yes. Z is minus f minus f divided by f b minus a c square, right? So yes, sir. Uh, here a is value what minus five by two, minus five by two, and f value five by two. Minus b equals to what minus six, minus six, and z equals to what seven. Okay. So a b a means six. And B means minus six. A square what? A means minus five by two whole square. So this value what will be actually? Alpha equals to what? What's the value? Alpha equals to what will be? Minus twenty five by four plus forty two divided by minus thirty six minus twenty five by four. Okay. And beta equals to on the other hand, beta equals to what will be? Z means what? Seven. And A means minus five by two. Minus a means six. F means what? Five by two. Okay. Then six mi minus six minus minus five by two whole square. So this result will be minus eleven minus eleven by thirteen after calculation. Okay. And this result will be what? Ten by thirteen. So B take us. So the point, uh, the point of intersection is what will be alpha beta will be what minus eleven by thirteen and ten by thirteen. This is the required result for you. Now, if theta be the angle angle between straight line straight line then tan theta equals to what was what was the formula 2 into a square minus ab divided by what a plus b now just putting the values. Two into square root a means what? Minus five by two whole square minus a means what six and b means minus six. This divided by a plus b six minus six. Six minus six means what? You must know six minus six means what? Zero. Okay, this yes, is why this this means infinity. So, ten theta equals to what? Ten theta equals to infinity in in uh, undefined in in which degree? Theta equals to what will be five by two. Ninety. That means ninety degree. Okay, the angles will be ninety degree. Understand everybody? Yes, sir. Okay, show that the equation, example two, show that the equation, equation x square plus two a x y plus b y square 
टू जी एक्स प्लस टू एफ वाई प्लस सी इक्वल्स टू जीरो दिस इज वेरी फेमस इक्वेशन सेकेंड डिग्री जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ सेकेंड डिग्री रिप्रेजेंट रिप्रेजेंट ए पेयर ऑफ ए पेयर ऑफ It represents two parallel lines. It represents two two parallel lines. Parallel lines. If this will represent a pair of state, a pair of uh, lines. If a is two a's. A is to A is equals to A is to B. A is to B equals to Z is to F. Z is to F. This is actually uh, small Z. Also show that show that show that the distance between them. Between them is two root over z square minus a c divided by a into a plus b. Okay, we have to uh, prove that this distance is this. now we already known about the the given state line is a general equation of a second degree so we know that the condition a solution we know the the given equation will represent represent two straight lines two straight lines if del equals to what zero or del equals to what was the determinant value a b c plus 2 f z a Minus f square minus b z square minus c a c square equals to zero. Or since a b equal to a c square, we are given actually we are given what a divided by a is equals to a is divided by b equals to z divided by f. So from from this ratio, a b equal to what? A c square, right? A b equals to what? A c square. So this a b equals to what? A c square c, right? Plus two f z a s minus f square minus b z square minus c a c square. Since a b Equals to what? A c square from the given ratio. Understand everybody? So A b equals to A c square. Or C a square C a square will be cancelled. Remember it. This term and this term will be cancelled. So we can write B z square minus two f z a s plus f square equals to zero. This equals to zero. Okay. So B Z square minus two F Z 
a is equals to root over ab from this a is square equal to ab okay from a, from from here we can write a is equals to what root over ab so putting a is equals to root over ab here plus a f square equals to zero or uh, this can be written as a, a plus b whole square that means root b z minus root over a f whole square equals to zero or root over b z equals to root over a f therefore from this we can write what we can write z by f equals to this imply z by f equals to what root over a divided by root over b okay also this can be this can be written as root over a b divided by b square okay but b square equals to what uh, root a b equals to what a is a b equal to a square this is why we can write a is by b from this okay therefore a divided by z equals to a is divided by b equals to z divided by f which are the required condition understand everybody and this is the required condition okay a b equals to what a is square this is why root a means what a is root a is, root over a is square means a is again root over b square means what b just multiplying by b on both numerator and denominator we can write this okay actually to meet up the condition because we have to prove this condition now another part second part we also show that the distance between them is this now for the second condition i have to erase this second part let a b and c d be the lines lines line will be what lx plus my plus n equals to 0 and this will be n1 okay and other is L, lx plus my plus n2 equals to 0 since there are the this represent a pair of parallel straight line okay for parallel straight lines let us take any point p x y and we have to draw a perpendicular pm to cd pm is perpendicular to cd okay this will be m এটা এটা হ্যাঁ আমি সেকেন্ড পার্ট করতেছি এই যদি এবি আর সিডি হয় লাইন গুলো একটা এল এক্স একটা এম ওয়াই প্লাস এন ওয়ান এন ওয়ান আর একটা হবে এল এক্স প্লাস এম ওয়াই প্লাস এন টু সেকেন্ড লাইন ঠিক আছে 
যদি দুইটা লাইন নি এবং x1 x1 y1 আমি যদি যে কোনো একটা পয়েন্ট নি x1 y1 অথবা x1 y1 আমি যদি যে কোনো একটা পয়েন্ট নি ঠিক আছে এদের উপর যে যে দুইটা লাইন রিপ্রেজেন্ট করে সেই দুইটা লাইন লিখলাম আমি মনে করলাম একটা lx ঠিক আছে এই যে দেখো একটা একটা lx প্লাস my প্লাস n1 আরেকটা lx1 আরেকটা my1 আরেকটা n2 নিতে পারো একটা n1 নিতে পারো আরেকটা n2 নিতে পারো অথবা একটা একটা n নিলে আরেকটা n1 নিতে পারো এটা n নিতে পারো আর এটা n1 নিতে পারো ঠিক আছে আর সবগুলা তো ওয়ান থাকুক ক্লিয়ার কিনা জি স্যার হুম তাহলে फर्म टू जी एर कम्पेयर कर जिन क्लियर क्या समीकरण दिए दी नीचे गुलाब मुझे फिलते हेलो जाना बस इंटरमिडिएटर कथा So let AB and CD be the lines LX plus MY plus N, and another line will be LX one, MY one, and N one. So it uh, let us take any point P X one Y one, and PM is the perpendicular to CD like this. So comparing with the coefficient L square equals to A, L square equals to what will be A, and M square will be 
B and N and N one what will be C and twice Z will be what L into N plus N because X Y coefficient will be this. So the second line is L X one plus M Y one plus N one. So the perpendicular distance will be this line divided by sir X X coefficient square plus Y coefficient square. Okay. Now this can be written as. This can be written as n one minus n, n one minus n divided by square root over l square plus m square. This will be l x plus m y. L x plus m y. What was n minus n? Okay, this y minus n. And this can be written as uh, n one minus n whole square means what? Square root over n one plus n square minus four n one n divided by square root over l square plus m square. Just putting n plus n one equals to twice z by l. And n one n into n one equals to c. Then we can write easily twice z by l whole square minus four c. This equals to root over m square plus l square means what a plus b. Okay, a plus b. Now taking l square four z square by l square minus four c divided by root over a plus b. Now l square taking l square LCM, we can write four z square minus. Four C L square so L square equals to A. Okay. Then taking L C M with A, four Z square minus four A C divided by divided by root of R. A plus B, okay, and there will be a square root. So taking four common, we get Z square minus AC divided by A into root over A plus B. Actually, this is the distance between them, and this is the required distance. Sir, up my mic off. Prove that the straight line represented by the equation x square plus two a s x y plus b y square b y square plus two twice z x plus twice f y plus c equals to zero. This is the standard form of second degree equation, general equation of second degree. Will will equidistant will be equidistant 
distant from the origin from the origin if f to the power 4 minus z to the power 4 equals to equals to b into equals to b into sorry c into bf square bf square minus a z square okay we have to prove this condition now solution let the lines lines represented by represented by the given equation equation b lx plus my plus n equals to zero and another one is l1x plus m1y plus n1 equals to zero this is equation number one roman one and another is roman two since since then x square plus 2xy plus by square 2zx plus 2fy plus c equals 2 can be written as lx plus my plus n into l1x plus m1y plus n1. Okay. Since this equation represent a pair of straight line, this is why we can uh, write. Now comparing uh, comparing comparing what the coefficient 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 comparing coefficient we can write l l1 multiplication l l1 equals to what will be a Okay. And M M1 equals to what will be? B. Just after multiplication and then comparing. And N N1 equals to will be C. M N1 plus m1 n this equals to will be twice f n l1 plus n1 l equals to what twice z just comparing l m1 plus L1 M equals to twice A. Okay. Now, since equation one and two are equidistant. from origin okay from origin then we can write 
the distance from the origin will be for the first line what will be l into 0 plus m into 0 plus n divided by what will be square root coefficient of x square l square and coefficient of y square okay and this equals to second line l1 into 0 plus m1 into distance from the origin this is y plus n1 divided by square root over ln square plus mn square that means coefficient of x square plus coefficient of y square now squaring and by cross multiplication so you can write uh, from this n square uh, into l1 square plus l m1 square equals to n1 square will be what l square plus m square okay So after this line, we can write from here, from the after this line, this can be written as n square, n square, l1 square, n square, l1 square minus n1 square, l square. Okay. This equals to n1 square m square minus n square m1 square just multiplying then alternating or a plus b into a minus b we can write this n l1 minus n1 l okay similarly n1 m whole square minus and m1 whole square so a square minus b square formula what will be a plus b a minus one and n1 and l1 plus n1 l and l1 minus n1 l from this part minus okay this will be n. Okay. n l1 plus n1 l. Now from this part, we can write, actually we have no n l1 minus n1 l in this part. This is why we have to make a, a corollary. We have to use a corollary. Uh, for this part, how we can n l1 plus n1 l whole square minus 4 n n1 l l1. Okay. From uh, this equals to from And M1, M1 plus N1, M, from this also we can write M, N1 plus M1, N whole square minus 4, M, M1, N, N1, okay? To use this relation, we are using corollary here or now putting the values of uh, values from here in this in this part and L1 plus N1 L what and L1 plus N1 L what will be twice Z. 
okay twice z n l1 n1 l n l1 n1 l what will be twice z whole square minus 4 n n1 what c 4 c l l1 what a equals to n m1 n m1 m n1 what will be twice f twice f second bracket m n1 m1 n what will be twice f whole square minus 4 m m1 what m m1 b and n n1 c so after this after putting the values of the coefficients from here we get this line so no need to like no need this line now so from this part we can write what uh, two will be cancelled from uh, from both sets two will be cancelled from both sets so we get actually 4z 4z square minus 4sc okay and here f will be 4 f square minus 4 b c. So 4 will be common and 4 will be 4 will be also gone. So z square z square minus sorry there is a mistake uh, actually there will be a square root you are not telling about this and there will be also square root remember it because we are using corollary without a square okay understand everybody hello so taking a square on both sides squaring on both sides we get z square minus sc and here will be f square minus bc so from this line so from this line z to the power 4 minus z square sc equal to f to the power 4 minus f square bc hence this z to the power 4 f to the power 4 equals to what will be z square sc minus f square bc so hence f to the power 4 minus z to the power 4 will be f, f square will be here c common pf square minus as square this is the actually proved okay and this is the proof mm. now example four prove that prove that the product of the perpendicular perpendicular from the point from the point x1 y1 okay on the lines on the lines x square plus 2x xy plus by square equals to 0 0 is 
a x1 square plus x1 y1 divided by square root over a minus b whole square plus 4 a square. Actually, we have to prove that the product of the perpendicular from the point this on the line, this is the actually homogeneous quadratic equation, right? This is what homogeneous quadratic equation. So it represents two straight lines which passes through the origin. Remember it, which passes through origin. So uh, first of all, we have to consider these two lines. Let solution will be like this. Let us consider consider two straight line straight line will be y equals to m1x another will be what y equals to m2x these two lines okay will be represented by represented by what given equation represented by given equation so sum of the roots sum of the roots will be what m1 plus m2 equal to what will be minus 2 is a is by b and product of the roots what m1 into m2 what will be a by b you must know from the earlier of this class. Suppose we can draw this line. Uh, uh, this is the origin and this is the X and this is the Y, okay? So this is the first line M1, Y equals to M1 X and this is the second line okay now we have to find out the equal perpendicular distance okay from the point p x y from the point x1 y1 okay just we have to this is the equal distance and we have to prove this so for the first first line first distance what will be first line we have to write y minus m1 x square root divided by what will be coefficient of x square and coefficient of y square okay for the second line what will be and for the second line d2 what will be y minus m2 x divided by what will be coefficient of x square and coefficient of y square now now product of this two distance okay product of this two distance d1 multiplied d2 what will be y minus m1 x divided by square root 1 plus m1 square multiply y minus m2x divided by root over m2 square okay now we can multiply this multiply multiplication what will be y square then xy y square minus m1 plus m2 into xy then minus minus plus what will be m1 into m2 m1 into m2 x x1 square m1 into m2 x1 square actually this will be x1 at the point x1 y1 we are given point okay y1 this is will be y1 and this will be x1 remember it okay because we are given a point and the distance so will be m1 into m2 m1 into m2 yes yes right m1 into m2 into x1 square okay 
Now this is divided by root of r, root of r one plus m one square into one plus m two square. That means what? One plus one plus m two square, then m square, then m one, m one square, m two square. Okay. Now after this line, we can write actually uh, y one square y one square m one plus m two what from the sum of the roots we can write minus two is by b okay x one y one m one m two what b by a right product of the root root is what sorry a by b not b by a. A by b into x one square. This divided by root of r one plus m one square m two square. One plus m one square m two square can be written as what? M one square plus m two square formula what? A plus b whole square minus two ab. Okay, a square plus b square formula what? A minus B whole square plus sorry a, a plus B whole square minus twice AB two M one M two and other is M one into M two whole square just putting uh, the values sum of the roots minus twice is BB and product of the root is A by B here just putting we get the our required proof. So we get y one square plus two a is by b y one plus a by b x one square. Here putting the values one plus um, minus two a is by b whole square minus two a by b plus a by b whole square. Okay. Okay. Now, here B is the LCM. Okay, taking B LCM B Y one square two A is X one Y one A X one square. And here, b square is the LCM, so we get b square minus four a square plus four a square plus four a square minus twice a b plus a square, and over the square root b square become only b, so b b will be cancelled from both numerator and denominator. So the product of the product of the perpendicular distance can be written as x one square plus two a is x one y one b y one square divided by a square minus twice a b plus b square. Here is the square root. Remember it. Square root over a minus b whole square plus Actually, there is a four a square. Four uh, a square. Okay, so d one, d two. Product of the distance is this. Proved. Okay, this is the proof of the problem. Now example five. 
area of the triangle formed by the lines. formed by the lines x square homogeneous quadratic equation x square plus 2 ace x y plus b y square equals to 0 it represents two straight line which passes through the origin remember it and and another lines lx plus m y plus n equals to 0 so these two lines and this one line will make a triangle and we have to find out the that area okay suppose uh, this is the first this is the first line uh, first line and this is the second line and another line which cut cut the x axis okay which cut the axis this is the first line and this is the second line and this is the third line which cut the axis now we have you have to find out the intersection point this and this is the origin remember it so you have to find out the coordinate of the intersection point then we can find out the area let let the lines the lines be y equal to m1 x y equal to m2 x and this is the first line and this is the second line and third one what lx plus m y plus n equals to zero which cut the axis okay the line of equation which cut the x axis and y axis this is the third line now product of the uh, from the given uh, homogeneous quadratic equation sum of the sum of the roots what will be minus twice h by b and product of the roots what a by b we have to remember this okay product of the roots since lines 1 and 3 meets 1 and 3 meets here okay at the point a and this is point b 2 and 3 okay and 1 and meets at a so the points will be points will be what minus n one plus m one comma minus n m one divided by one plus m m two. So, since line one and three meets at the point at the coordinate a, this is the intersection point. So, from equation one, y equals to m one x, okay, and from third line, l x plus m y plus n equals to zero. Now, putting the value of y equals to m one x from equation one, m one x in replace of y, we get this this line from y equals to m one x, okay. So, taking x common. L plus M into M1. So X equals to what will be minus N divided by L plus M M N. Okay, this is the X coordinate. That means FCSA. Then Y coordinate will be given by what? This, just putting the value of X here. So minus N M1 divided by this will be ordinate. Sim Again, the line, lines two and three meets, at b point okay so at b point just solving y equals to m2x and third line 
we get what the coordinate will be what this is the a coordinate and b coordinate will be what minus n divided by 1 plus n m2 1 plus n m2 because in second line m2 x okay then n m2 divided by 1 plus 1 plus m m2 okay this will be the b b coordinates now the area of the triangle a u b or u a b okay now after this line we can write now area of triangle u a b is given by is zero 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 one first coordinate minus n divided by one plus m one minus n m one divided by what will be one plus m one m two and this will be one and second coordinate what will be minus n divided by 1 plus n m2 minus n m2 divided by 1 plus m1 m2 okay 1 plus m m2 not m1 m2 okay m m2 okay this will be one and this is the area of triangle formula Okay, area in, in intermediate uh, area of triangle what? Del what was? 0, 0, 1, x1, y1, 1, x2, y2, 1, in this way, okay? This was the formula. So from this line, actually this is the determinant, this multiply minus this multiply, okay? This can be written as what? This multiply, minus n divided by 1 plus n 1 multiply m2 this is minus also minus m1 divided by m2 another is 1 plus m2 Okay. This equals to n n n square. Okay. Here also n square we can take common m2 minus m1. This divided by Remember this, this was L, not one. Remember it, this was L because L, this not one, remember it, L plus M1, M2. So after multiplication, what will be this? After multiplication, we get two into L plus M, M1, L plus M, M1 into L plus M M2 plus M M2. So this is this equals to n square by two m one plus m two whole square minus four m one m two. This m n s b can be written as like this. And this divided by
L after multiplication, we get L square LM M2 Just putting the values, uh, sum of the roots and product of the roots, we get a square minus a b divided by twice m square b l square minus two is a is l m. This is the actually required area. This is the actually required area. Hello. Yes, sir. Actually, there is a half missing. Remember it. This is the area formula. Half missing from here. And there is a half. Remember it. Because uh, triangle area what? Del equals to half into first coordinate, second coordinate, and third coordinate one, okay? There will be half. So this is the required area. Four A square plus BL square minus two A twice A is LN. Okay, the area of the Triangle formed by the what? By the lines and the triangle. Let the lines are solution. Let the lines are y equals to m1x and y equals to m2x. Another was x plus y equals to what? One. This is first equation and this is second equation and this is what will be third equation since the equation represents one and two, okay? The sum of the roots, what will be? Minus two is A is by B and product of the roots, what? A by B. You must know from here. Now, this is the origin. And this is the point A and this is the point B, intersection point. So origin is the actually intersection point of one and two from equation one and two, O, okay, zero, zero. And the intersection point point of one and three. From one and three, what will be? A point, okay? How we get a point? Just putting y equals to mn, m1x in uh, from, one, from uh, one, y equals to m1x. So three will become what? Just putting y equals to m1x. Okay, y equals uh, x plus m1x equals to one. So x will be common, one plus m1 equals to one, okay? So x equals to one divided by one plus m1, right? Now putting the value of x here, we get from one, y equals to what will be? m1 divided by what, one plus m1. So the coordinate will be what? 
one divided by one plus m one m one divided by one plus m one. This is the intersection point of what one and three. Now and the intersection point of two and three. Okay. Three B point. What will be? Similarly, putting the value of y in three, we get what? X plus m two x equals to one. Taking x common, we get one plus m two. So one divided by one plus m two. Okay. And after putting these values, we get m two divided by one plus m two. Okay. This is the B coordinate. Now the area. Area equals to what will be del zero zero one a coordinate what one by one plus m one m one divided by one plus m one 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 divided by one plus m two m two divided by one plus m two one. Just from this determinant, we get our required area. Okay. So from this determinant, we can write this zero zero column zero. So taking this only one, then this multiply this. Okay, one by one plus m one multiply m two divided by one plus m two minus m one divided by one plus m one one divided by one plus m two. Okay, half from this line we can write what m two minus m one. Okay. M two minus one and this similar one plus m one one plus m two one plus m one one plus m two. So taking LCM, we get only just multiplication of what one plus m two plus m one plus m one into m two. Okay. Now m two minus m one can be written as what by using a corollary a minus b whole square formula what. A plus b whole square m one plus minus four m one m two and of course square root this divided by one plus m one m two m m one into m two okay now putting the values of the sum of the roots and product of the roots. M one plus M two what minus twice a is by b whole square four into a by b one plus minus twice a is by b a by b this equals to half. From this, we can write four a square minus four a b square root divided by uh, here we get uh, b is the LCM. So from this, we can write b minus twice a plus a, and b b will be cancelled from both. Numerator and denominator. Okay, and this half will be also cancelled by this four. Okay, so uh, this can be written as square root over a square minus minus a b divided by. This is the required area. A square. Minus a b, a square minus a b 
divided by b minus twice h plus a. This is the required area. Okay. 